What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. We also got a little visitor today from my boy Wilson. Don't mind him, just give himself a bath. Today we're doing Kuroko no Basket, episodes 41 and 42. The first one is called Win Now. Now, normally in between these, 41 and 42 is when I would actually watch the correct timing of 41.5. Let's do that again, which as you guys know, I watched like an episode like 20 mistakenly. Um, I am going to let you guys know I am going to rewatch it again or highlights of it in between these episodes so I can get like back into that vibe of what everything's supposed to be like. Very excited to find out what's going to happen with the end of this match. Almine is finally having faith and confidence that he can go all out. Kagami is going insane. Kuroko is now being marked by Ima Yoshi. So we'll find out what's happening. Other than that, don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access and full length up to four episodes ahead one week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 41. Win now. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Right, your focus is just somewhere else. We know Kuroko is an eye watcher, so yeah, watches for like a blink. That's actually really smart. It's actually a great play, Momui. God damn it. Yes, indeed. It's crazy. She's the one saying this about her man, you know? He is nice. I mean, that's how excessively manipulative people are. He's practically psychic. We know he's super manipulative. Not in a bad way, too, you know? Now they have a four point lead. Oh, the immediate drawback with Saku is up there. Momoi is a great assistant coach. Yeah. She's the data data analyst. I don't know. What is her role? Manager. She's a manager. I don't think Kagami can take an upgraded Almine. Normal Almine, maybe, but look at him. He's on edge. And just like that, his blue ass aura is out of there. It's that microsecond. He's going to do something even cooler than what I thought. He hit the mid air 360. He's getting back to his peak. He's been suppressed for so long that it, it takes a little bit of time for him to actually get that shit back to prime Almine. And just like that, they're taking the lead like crazy. It went from what, two or three? Now it's eight. Switched again. Oh, he's checked out. There has to be another card, another ace up our sleeve, something, right? No, he's actually right. We actually have used up all of our, all of our tricks. What, what do we do though? Conversation be between Junpei and uh, Kiyoshi, yeah. Damn, Kiyoshi truly is the iron heart, bro. The whole squad now, too. Not just the, the older ones and number two. Everyone. True. We don't have till next year. Not next time. Hell yeah. Oh, I got goosies. I thought they were checked out. Hell no. Stronger than ever. All right. Okay. Where the f did he? Zo what the hell? Where did he go? How did he do that? <laughs> yeah, what? 
True form and final trump card. <laughs> what is going on in this show? Misdirection overflow. Right, that second of hesitation, distraction. I love the way they're animating this. They're so expressive. So how does this misdirection overflow work? Now we're down 10 instead of 14. So like Izuki said, they knew it would run out. And so that's why they have this plan as a backup. That's true. <laughs> that is true. He's a phantom man, you know. So normally instead of misdirecting off us, he's misdirecting on us. Yep. So now he's the ghost that everyone is staring at. That is insane. How long does this work, though? Because until they figure it out, you know? Oh, I bet. So this is not going to work after this game, especially because the other games are watching, other teams are watching. Midorima doesn't realize that that we're doing this because we have no chance later. We need to do this now because of Kiyoshi. <laughs> Kiyoshi is a legend. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Almine is like, what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, we got to deal with this one that we're currently at. End of the third quarter is happening for a last second buzzer beater. He. <laughs> so if it's something that is the biggest disadvantage for you, it's going to work. Damn. Jesus Christ. I love when Junpei gets like this. Let's do it, guys. This is going to be the end of this episode going into the next flashback. Yeah, they said watch his pivot foot toe. But the vanishing barrier jump, now that's even different. Mm. I love that transition from moment we now till then and then what is he grinning he's smiling he can't help himself against a strong opponent it's the first time he's had a, a grin anything and Oh, and then we would watch the uh, yeah, flashback fits perfectly. I can't lie. It fits perfectly. All right. So the recap absolutely fit perfectly in there. Not the recap. I shouldn't say that, but the flashback slash you guys know what kind of that, that OVA fit perfectly in there. I love seeing Almine again. Love seeing the squad and the, everything. And it fits perfectly into this match as to why Almine feels the way he does, how he's been the way before this, how he's grinning now and everything. Yeah. So on to this last episode, 42, I believe. And yeah, they got quite the lead on us right now. Final 10 minutes of the game. Junpei is always the, the GOAT. Three points at a time. God damn. Junpei wet. even if he does miss he knows he has the goats inside the paint 
right oh that's the ultimate level of confidence not worried about not not making it but not worried about the repercussions of not making it because there are no repercussions because i trust my boys a quick pivot on the inside now it's him and kiyoshi and obviously goes for the immediate jump but i think he, i think he's getting pump faked yeah yep and then the timing when you're going down and he's going up over wait was it wasn't a foul right no he just made that it was a foul and he got the plus one god damn almine what would that be miyoshi Oh, that is some fair enough to that's a fair point that's something fair enough to to believe in you guys got a back to a 10 point god damn it whoa the two three man coverage you believe in Almine's strength so do we so they have to lock him down yeah he needs to be uh checked I was about to say, I mean, it's not going to pass it even if that was an option. Ooh. Just help me out. I'll stop him. Okay. Declaration from Kuroko. How? Hell yeah. Ooh. This dude, bro. Look at this dude. Can't make every formless shot. I mean, he's damn near under the hoop, just shooting like a straight bullet at it, you know? It's because Kuroko did something, huh? Yeah, so that's why we're forced by Kagami and Kiyoshi to put him in this scenario. Touche. We gotta do whatever we can. Ooh, ooh, Izuki. Ooh, see, when they do that animation, it's so clean. Only six point deficit. This is doable. This is doable. I know we're so close. It's a little bit more work. Great steal. And then the redirect over to Junpei with a beautiful three-pointer that he gets fouled during. Damn. And we're only down three points. One three-pointer. You guys can hear that dog outside bark. I apologize. Oh God, when Almine starts breathing like this, he's going to literally turn Super Saiyan. He's going to unlock a power to draw the ball magnetically towards him or something. Probably a crazy feeling for him. And he's feeling that right now. We're only down three points. Totally losable for him, which is a crazy feeling. He's like, give me the ball. Just so quietly, not even saying a word, not even the expression on his face. He's already passed him. Yep. Before they even had a chance to realize how many had already gone down the entire court and scored. Ooh. Practiced and practiced. Oh, I love the way they have the lightning coming out of their eyes. So he's in the zone. You know, if they have the narrator come out, which I believe that narrator was Toho's captain, right? Their coach, I mean, not their captain. 
Akashi Murasaki Bar or even like he's in the oh god is this gonna be the end of this episode no no thank the lord Yeah, no one even knows how he's capped, you know, what that skill cap is. Five minutes with a seven point deficit. And what do you do against that? That's so broken. That is crazy. I don't even think it's physically possible for anyone to do that, but hey, I know if you personally believe you can, go ahead, my man. No plan either? Jesus. Okay, he's saying this isn't a pride thing. He's saying he truly wants the team to win, but he just feels like this is the only way for that to happen. And if anyone's gonna, if anyone's gonna believe in their uh, squad, it's definitely Junpei. He's the goat. It's all on you. Ooh, the cuts and the teammates. Ooh. I was when they first, yep, yeah, on that practice court, on that hoop outside. I remember that. Your light is too dim. Throw it in while he just flies out. Nice. Come on. We got faith. Damn. You gotta get in that uh You gotta get in that zone or something, Kagami. You gotta do something. That's so true. Let me see some red lightning as well. Come on. Oh look at that eye. <laughs> He's in the zone, baby. Oh, we're in our own zone. Mm. That overwhelming feeling of hating that losing. Come <laughs> Don't end right here. Oh, this is where it's going to end. You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Talk about a goddamn match. Just when I'm like, oh, they can't keep going. They can't keep going. They literally never end. Kagami goes here. Almine is here. Kuroko's here. So then uh, Daichi got, or not Daichi, and Junpei's got to go here. And then and Kiyoshi's here. And then Wakamatsu's here. And then fucking Sakurai's here. And then, he, you know, it's like, this is one of the craziest basketball games I've ever seen. One of the craziest animated games I've ever seen. Shouts out Kuroko, the overflow. Shouts out Kagami in the zone. Shouts out Almine in the zone. I love the way they're animating this. I love the way Midorima was talking about it. Uh, only the select chosen can, can get into this mode and it, access, it unlocks the full potential of their capabilities. And with Almine, someone like Almine, that's never been seen. We really don't know what his 100% is, but same with Kagami. So I'm super, super excited. Great animation, great animation, great moments great characters shouts out momui pulling out some great strategies as well imayoshi hanami who is a uh, hanamiya senior you know crazy thing about hanamiya talks up to imayoshi about being the fucking bad boy which coming from hanamiya that's crazy man oh ooh, man oh man man oh man do i want to watch 17 more episodes right now god damn hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel uh, make sure y'all check out that Patreon early access full length of the four episodes one week ahead. I'm going to drink some water. 
Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.